thoughts on rap beef these days? Um, I think most rap, well, I ain't seen a real rap beef in a while. I, well, we're seeing one right now. I ain't going to do no name drops. Uh, I think for the most part, the word beef gets a little stretched. I think a lot of times it just be some, you know, some rapper fuse. They be diss records, but every diss record don't translate into a beef. Mm. A lot of times the people who dissing each other see each other in person and none of the, you know, nothing really occurs. And a lot of times, you know, the, the two rappers is few don't have a real issue in the first place. It's not a real problem. It's probably rap related or some silly shit. I think rap beef is the serious shit. You know, it just spill into the music. I think that's when it's rap. We don't see much of that now, which is great. At the same token, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm true to where I come from. So I think rappers shouldn't shouldn't uh, exaggerate which one it is. Mm. If y'all just dissing each other, then y'all battling or some shit. You shouldn't call it a beef. You shouldn't be on your record talking about robbing and shooting them and all that extra shit. If that's mm. not what you plan on doing. Shit, to be honest, if you plan on doing it, you shouldn't be speaking of it. Because if you know, like I know, you just incriminated yourselves. And conspiracy is not a bitch. Now, diss records, are they good for the culture or bad? I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck the culture likes or needs right now. The culture is very tricky. I don't know who's in it, who's not, uh, who, you know, who's appropriate for it. I have no idea. I'm not really into diss records. It just don't really work for me. I don't really like diss records because a great diss record, I mean, you know, again, I'm a student of music, of course, but a great diss record, I have to understand what's going on, with, on you know, on both behalves. So a record like um, like Ether, you know, like the Ether record, everything he that Nas said in the song, you know, I could understand. I don't mean like verbally understand. I mean I could understand the incidents he was referring to. Same with every record that Jay used to respond with. I could, you know, I, I understood enough to know what they were both talking about. Mm. But now when it comes to the disc records, it's even more personal. But the the fame, you know, the, the level of fame is not the same as it used to be, you know, back then. Those were two major artists. And now, you know, who the people, the artists that we consider to be major, we don't know much about. We, you know, they... Not to say they, they came, you know, they blew up overnight, but it almost seems that way. Like, they just came out of nowhere. And when they come out of nowhere and you don't know the backstory, you don't know anything about them other than, you know, the flash of shit they show you in their videos or their vlogs, then I, I don't know what the fuck they talking about when they start dissing each other. And, you know, on my behalf, I'm not into diss records because I ain't really into to promoting another person. I just is what it is. I, I don't want my the fruits of my labor. I don't want them to spill over into your platter, and, and you've done none of the work, you know. So I'm not gonna mention nobody, you know. When I go in the studio, of course I hear diss records, you know. That's what I was gonna ask you next. Have you been dissed before? Or I am. I dissed? get dissed all the time, man. <laughs> hey, that shit don't bother me not the least bit. My philosophy: if it does not cost me money, it does not keep me from making money, then it is not my concern. Mm. And none of that shit stops me from making money. This day and age, there's no such thing as a fan or, or losing a fan, because you know the same people that disagree with this song agree with the next song. The people that disagree with what I wear today. Still gonna listen to all my music. Still <laughs> gonna look for what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So you know, the the people dissing me, that shit never bothered me. And it's just, I mean, as you know, earlier in my career, that that you know, that was a whole different story. But at this point, you know, you're not keeping me from doing what I do every day. Nothing you can say is gonna prevent me from feeding my children. So you can diss me if you like. If I take it too personal, I you know, I'm still not gonna respond. I'm gonna want to see what's going on, so I'm gonna check on it. Not saying you know I'm not pulling up, shooting up shit. This you know this ain't that. A lot of shit ain't you know ain't even. A lot of shit ain't even that serious. But you know I want to know what's up. I want to know why you got an issue with me, and you're either gonna tell me what the issue is, or you're gonna say you don't have an issue. Mm. And we just go from there. Is there anything that's out of bounds when it comes to disc records? I know, like, uh, I remember when the game was dissing Meek Mill and he used Nicki Minaj's name at the time they were 
a, in a relationship, uh, Meek and Nikki, and he apologized later for it on an interview I don't think saying. Apologize for nothing. Um, I think. I mean, when it comes to that, I don't know. I I can say what's out of line for me. What will make you know, like I said, what will make it spill spill outside of the booth is when family gets involved. Mm. And, you know, that's a whole different ordeal because whoever you involve when it comes to family, they ain't who you got the issue with. If you got an issue with me, handle your issue with me, whatever the issue is. I don't see a reason. If I owe you money, you would not make a record. You're going to call my phone. You're going to try to catch up with me. So, you know, I believe in that way of resolving whatever a, a true issue is. And when you start involving other people, I think, you know, I think you're just reaching for insults now. Mm. Just, you know, trying to find a way to get under whoever's skin. I ain't really into that. But again, you know, it's a whole culture of people that love it. Uh, uh, you know, like the, the the battle rap shit, you know, it's a whole scene of that. So yes. you know, for, it's for some people, it's not for me though. What do you think the best diss record of all time though, at this point was, so far that you've heard? Out of all the disses and the rap beefs that have happened over time, what do you think the best diss song is? Hmm. If you could pick one out, one just sticks out to you. Um, I think it's called Four Three Two One. Oh, okay. That was the Cannabis and LL Cool J. Yeah, I think that beef. was the the. I think that's that was the best diss record because they're on the same song, and that don't happen much. <laughs> I mean, you know when uh, what was that? Who was that? Who was that? Um. When Tip and Luda was, you know, when they was dissing each other and Buck put them on the same song, they didn't know they was on the same song. Cannabis and LL knew they were on the same song. Cannabis' original verse was like 50 fucking bars. So they had to slim his, his verse down. I don't know what LL, his original verse was the verse that's still on the, you know, that's still on the song. But they on the same record dissing each other. So I thought that was, I thought that was something. 